in this how-to, we're just going to have a little bit of fun. Normally, these how-tos, I'm doing a bunch of math or trying to do crazy stuff with the flight plan, but we're just going to have some fun this time. We're just going to fly any flight plan with any aircraft. What I'm going to do is open up Sim Flight Plan, and I guess we'll start at our community page. Now, Sim Flight Plan is really just an extension of Flight Plan. Flight plans that get shared from within Flight Plan end up here. These are the newest on the community page, and these are just in date order. And this is our featured download. This changes every couple of weeks. We've also got featured posts on the community page, links to the video, and some more information. But we're just going to talk about having fun today. So let me just go straight to the downloads. Now, downloads are free for everyone to fly. They're just Microsoft Flight Simulator flight plans. There's nothing special about them. In terms of the files themselves, they're just flight plans, the same as if you had saved them out of Flight Simulator. And if you want to download and fly them, all you have to do is register for a free account. Sim Flight Plan does not sell or share your data with any third parties. It's for entertainment purposes only. You just need this account so that you can download and really what you need the account for. Here, I'll make one up. Pick a username or, you know, like a handle and that's the username you're going to need, of course, to log back into the website. But you will also need this if you want to download Flight Plan. It's going to ask you for your username on the website as soon as you download and start it and it'll only ask you once so just remember your username and we need a valid email address and it's going to email a secure password to you and we'll use an email I prepared earlier and that's it and you can download you don't have to go get a confirmation email or anything like that now that I'm logged in I can download and then I can also rate and review the flight you know like this text stand guy did the guy that created the flight plan flight plans they now have a rating based on anyone that's rated and reviewed it it always gives you the title and description that's whatever the pilot put as the description of the flight plan a lot of times it'll just be airport to airport it always includes the aircraft that was flown when the flight plan was uploaded and then all your waypoints and the distances between them these have weird waypoint numbers because this happens to be a mysteries of the abandoned flight so that gives you the season one episode four you'll see poi for like bush trip type flight plans or you can just use anything you want to use there's really no significance to them when you're creating a flight plan but if i just want to fly it and see what these sites look like i just download the flight plan and we'll put it in our downloads what is this open in folder and what you get is a zip file if we look inside the zip file this one just has an flt file and a pln file and I'll show you how to use those. The FLT is your full flight plan and your PLN is your route. So we'll just drag them into my temp. And then I also just keep a flight plans directory out here for stuff I want to keep. But if I'm just going to download something off the website, maybe I just want to throw it in a temp directory. To load this flight plan, all I have to do is go into world map and at the bottom, there's a more option or your space bar and then load save, which is also your space bar. You'll get here. And we want to load from this PC. I saved it in my temp. And I'm going to load the flight plan file. Okay, this is the .flt file. Now it has a flight plan icon for me because I have flight plan installed. But it may just show up just like the PLN file does on your computer. But if you choose the FLT file and load it, everything's predefined for me. So let's just jump in and fly it real quick. And we've spawned at the beginning, flight runway ready to take off. And you just jump in and fly. I think your flaps are even set for you. Your flaps are ready to go if you want to turn on your landing lights and off you go. And you'll notice I haven't used anything but the website simflightplan.com and Microsoft Flight Simulator. These flights are free to fly for everyone. Again, just sign up at simflightplan.com. And of course, you can share your own with Flight Plan, which I'm going to open because I like to use Flight Plan when I fly. So I open my Flight Plan, switch to Cockpit Mac. Turn on GPS follow, and there I am. And then I'd probably zoom in a little bit because I'm in the X Cub. And how far are we from something interesting? Oh, not far. Six miles to Kellenfold Power Station. And that's our Kellenfold Power Station. 
you can watch Mystery Z Abandoned to hear about it. And you can continue to fly the flight plan as it was defined if you want. So it's going to the Red Star Railroad Graveyard or you can fly around Budapest. There's all kinds of cool stuff to see in Budapest. But maybe I don't like my x -Cub. So let's go back to the main menu. And let's say I wanted to fly my Cessna this go around. What I would do again is hit my spacebar twice or hit the buttons go back into that same temp directory only this time I'm gonna load the PLN file notice we've got the same route only this time I've got my Cessna selected or I can select anything in my hangar you can adjust everything else time of day I can change my weather flight condition aircraft if you load the FLT file which is what I did in the first place you get everything predefined for you like a bush trip you're just ready to load it up jump in and fly and you're gonna get whatever you get so let's leave the PLN file loaded and we'll go ahead and jump back in in our Cessna and there's our Cessna if you're getting anything out of this by the way please like and subscribe it really helps us out so now you can see I'm in my Cessna Skyhawk same airstrip as before actually I'm at the other end of the runway so it spawned me at the south end of the runway instead of the north end where I had set my X cub probably because that's the preferred takeoff. I took off and scooted over these hills. Now I'm not going to fly that same leg again. Let's go ahead and just close flight plan. Let's go back to the website. That was Mysteries You Abandoned Budapest. And I could rate and review it now that I've flown it. I'm not going to do that. I've created a, a number of rates and reviews for my favorites. But I'm logged in as a bogus pilot right now. You can rate and review each flight plan once. If you want to use flight plan cockpit map like I did you can download flight plan now that you're signed up you just download and install it just remember to give it the name you signed up with and it'll fire up for you and in fact it'll automatically download the feature download and open it up for you let's look at our downloads by default they are just sorted in date order and the date they went up on the website if they have been reviewed it'll give a rating for them now this feature is new so don't penalize these other flight plans they just haven't been reviewed yet let's say it's a Saturday afternoon and I don't know where I want to fly maybe I want to go see some castles if I just type in castle it's gonna give me every flight plan which Actually, I didn't really realize there were all that many. I was looking for these Wales Bush Trip flights from a while ago because there's tons and tons of castles on those. But there's also several mysteries you abandon that include castles. The Meiji Castle was pretty cool. It's huge. There's even a castle on the Grand Alpine leg. That's true. There's that one at the uh, end of the lake. But what I was actually looking for was the Welsh Bush Trip castles. Let's just pick one. I was wanting to fly these again, actually, and see if I can find additional castles that aren't already on the flight plan because when I created these flight plans I had to skip a bunch of castles because Wales is just chock full of them this is the sixth leg of that little homemade bush trip and Carnifin to Bringwin let's go ahead and download this one too they're now out in my temp directory so now we can go back into flight simulator and I can load straight from the cockpit so let's say I just got tired of flying this route I can load directly from this PC now when you do that it only allows you to load an entire FLT file so unfortunately it's just a restriction of flight simulator you can't load a PLN file from here and just keep flying your same aircraft you've got to reload the entire flight plan there's my trusty NX Cub spawned at Carnifin, ready to take off, just like before. Not everybody loves the X Cub as much as I do. Maybe you want to fly the DA-40, let's say. You want all the modern conveniences and a nice wide open windscreen and luxurious leather interior and all that good stuff. Remember, all I've got to do is select my aircraft as I normally would. And then this time when I load my flight plan, don't load the FLT file. Whoops, we're doing Welsh Castles. Load the .pln file. It kept my aircraft and now it just loaded my route. So now I can jump in and fly it. 
It's actually got us at hold short when you load a PLN file. I guess there's probably a default spawn location for these airports that if you don't pick something, that's where it drops you. But it looks like we're at the hold short of 2-3. We're in our DA-40, which I actually highly recommend for sightseeing because you can't beat this windscreen wrap around view i mean it just doesn't get any better than that plus it's pretty fun to fly you just got to slow down way early when it comes time to land because of the diesel and again i opened up flight plan because i like my google map you can if you want use the vfr map if you don't have flight plan the vfr map works the same way it always does you don't get any of the labels on the map but you do get the flight path whether you have flight plan or not you also get the uh, nav log so you'll get your headings and distances and the ETEs which actually flight plan doesn't give you the ETE between the waypoints it just gives you the distance you can use the normal flight simulator tools I just prefer the Google map there's Carnifin Castle And like I was saying, you just can't beat the visibility out of the BA-40. So that's how to fill your Saturday afternoon. If you can't think of anywhere to fly, you can go to the simflightplan.com slash downloads. Again, these are free for everyone and simflightplan does not share your data. If you're looking for glaciers, come in. And here's all the flights that mention glaciers in the description. Actually, there's more than I thought there would be. There's Mendenhall and Burners Bay. Obviously, Textan has come around and reviewed this one. That's an especially good one, actually. It's kind of a long haul to get up over Mendenhall Glacier, but Burners Bay glaciers are super cool. There's a Middle Earth that has all of the, well, not all of, but it has a bunch of the Lord of the Rings filming locations. Now, a lot of Lord of the Rings was CGI, so obviously the giant cities and stuff aren't there, but all the background imagery that they used to put the movie sets in front of is there. And to be honest with you, New Zealand is pretty spectacular on its own. If you fly all of the Middle Earth, it'll start you at the far northern tip and take you all the way to the far southern tip of New Zealand. The glaciers came from the Pacific Northwest. I think there's like 30 of those. Oh, well, we've also got Pacific other stuff. Yeah, you can see the last leg into Anchorage. There were 31 legs. It starts all the way back at Columbia River, I think. Over the course of flying up through Oregon, Washington State, British Columbia, Yukon Territory, all the way to Anchorage. A lot of cool stuff to see along the way on that one. There's also, like I showed earlier, the Mysteries of the Abandoned. So if you search for mysteries, you don't have to put the whole word in. In fact, the less you put, the more results you'll tend to get. There's actually more of these than I thought, too. There's a bunch of Mysteries of the Abandoned, and these usually include any points of interest from world map and then also include waypoints that tell you which season and episode of the mysteries of the abandoned show the story came from uh, it's on the science channel that's how to fill your saturday afternoon with flight after flight after flight some are long some are short some are legs you can run back to back we did glaciers maybe i want to do water landings i think there's a water street in vancouver water's pinching a lot more than i thought here's one water takeoff water landing water takeoff water landing takeoff landing which makes sense the other thing you could search for if you happen to know uh, an iCal code and just want to see if there's a flight for it Let's see how was use KSFO do I know any others oh Rapid City because I'm a child I remember that one and there's a couple so there was a how-to and this one's actually pretty fun it's really long a 181 mile flight if you skip the badlands it's a lot shorter but it's got mount rushmore and devil's tower and then if you want the racing circuits you can search for circuit or you can probably search for racing also and these are all the different racing circuits although you could just go to the racing page and anything that's had a race created for it will be one of the cards across the top and these basically just take you to the download page to download it that's where all the racing 
courses are. And any flight plan can be a race course. So again, you can download flight plan here if you have questions and go to our FAQ page. The point of this video is just to reiterate that all the downloads on simflightplan.com are free for everyone. Sim Flight Plan is just an extension of Flight Plan and there was really no reason to restrict flight plans that were uploaded. You can upload any flight plan you want using your share button in Flight Plan and it will upload to our downloads library. You can upload anything you want. Keep it clean. Everything needs to be family friendly. Keep it clean or your flight plan will get deleted. But otherwise, upload whatever you want. Download whatever you want and we hope you try flight plan. You can download flight plan and rate and review it if you would please. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.